So baby, what's going on? Oh, just doing my little checks and if I do every now and then on everything and I found one loose little battery terminal that I'm just about to tighten up. Not it's a major or anything, it just shouldn't be there. There we go, job done. So these are our leisure batteries, five of them, 110 amp hour each, and they do us really well. It's very just... neat in there. Yeah. Beautiful morning out on the cut, and we're just about to head off for the day. Just going past a marina. Here comes the first boat of the day. Yeah, there's the rest of the marina. Hayford Fields Boatyard in there. Hayford Fields. Bridge number 34. So that's a lovely coach painting place. And this is the little marina with 15 boats. Looks like some sort of narrowboat lift. I don't know where it puts you. Perhaps you could just, you know, for camping on the grass. So you just take it out and plonk it there and then plonk it back in. Got more working boats. I've seen so many working boats today. Rather oh, nice as well. That's one pair. And that's another pair. That's no, not. It's not. What is it then? Two boats. Oh, two boats. Okay. Well, we just pulled up. To go to the shops. So I'm going this way to Tesco's. Looks like we've got a Chinese takeaway, fish and chips. There is a pub there, the heart of England. I found the Tesco's and the only reason I knew this was here, or we knew this was here, is because we saw someone walking along the towpath with a shopping bag. Now the pub, the wheat chief, next to the lucky house. The look, lucky hoof. Interesting little antique shop. Goodies in there. And back to Nutshell. There she is. Isn't this a beautiful little spot to stop? Magic. 20 plus shops including butchers, tea rooms, gifts and... Well, we're at a 300 yards left at the next. Oh, that's a sensible sign then, isn't it? Good to be a warning to bore up. Lots of crab apple trees here. Little young ones. Here's Noah's boat. It's lovely, isn't it? So how you going there, Wen? Fine, yeah, it's fine. Enjoying it? Yeah, I'm all right on these bits. I know, I'm all right on most things. I just need not so good at, I don't know really. No, I'm all right, I'm doing all right. So what do you do with a leftover shipping container? You turn it into a narrow boat or a wide boat. How cool is that? So we've caught up with the Jules Fuels, which I've heard of. The Magnus Link heard of. Yep. Fuel boats. With a button. It's all a bit tight. See? Not a lot yeah, of room here. Yeah. Not a lot of room. Can you see? This is advanced. I was driving a minute ago, but then I had to I had to give the tiller over to Magnus because there's no way I was going through this. Look. What have you got to say? Anything today? Do you like my hat? <laughs> it's actually Wendy's. Yeah, it's my spare one. There we go. There's the pub, the Charles Wells. Oh, the narrowboat. Oh, the narrowboat. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, Okay, but it's a wee bit early. It might be 11 actually, I don't think it is quite, nearly. That's what you need, the windmill. No, we'll only do about 12 months. There's yeah. enough coal there for a week. We just found where all the working boats hang out. So we've got this beautiful shiny one here. Oh, it's not a working boat now. Oh, isn't it? No. Oh, I beg your pardon. Looks it's working boat style. And then these two here, which look like the real deal. Painton, Southern and General. Lovely old working boat. We've got seven little signets. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And
and here we've got what I reckon is a working boat that's been converted into a sort of more of a regular boat because it's got the front bit and the back cabin and then all the middle bits so that's pretty cool we've got incense smell just like barley this looks like an old CRT boat it that's is. what Magnus reckons yeah. and it's been I don't know converted so we're in a conversion strip here there's a canoe for sale if anyone's looking for a canoe or tour a very very tidy little yard or whatever it is and we're, no private moorings private moorings little so nice where are we grand union uh grand union narrow boat services that's really pretty and beautifully kept some of the grand union boat yard right. weed and narrow boat holiday boats yeah. they're rather sweet some pretty buxy cans on the top of this one and the mop Full of planter, yeah, planter. and here we have a planter. planter. We've got, we've got planter. We've got one of these on our farm. How to store your kayak on a narrow boat? This is Wilton Marina. So it seems to have come up on the internet quite often, selling boats. So uh, might be quite a big place. It's quite big. We're just going up the Buckley Flight, and we're locking up with this lovely couple. And this is. Lock, oh there's a doggy. Lock number two. I've got to say about this then. You get two boats going through, so it's half the work. Heading up to lock number three. Canal side restaurant, canal side dining. That's really good timing. We're just arriving at lock and they've kindly opened the gates for us. Here they come, they've just gone out and we're about to go in. Quite a long way down. Rather cute little chair here. Sent to get ice cream. We found this beautiful shop. Ducks. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Flowers are beautiful here. Are they gladioli? I think. There she goes. Just done. I think we've got one more lock to go. One more lock. Right. Well, we're on the GU. The GU North goes left. And we're going to turn onto the Leicester Arm, which is a right angle to the right. So let's see how we get on. Bridge number one. Welcome to the Leicester branch. Hiding. We've come up to this marina. I'm not sure what it's called. It's got services. a little dock place there as well. Lovely. Well Mangs has just surprised me. So this is home sweet home for the next two days because we're actually heading down to London. So we're going to leave the boat here for a couple of nights and then come back on Monday. Yeah, do you want to go on the right of Panther please? Yep. And you'll sit there just nice. Certainly, I'll go up and reverse in. Going in through the little uh, lift bridge which is rather sweet. Going in there. I'd like to say I just did super advanced level <laughs> marina mo touch, uh, moving without touching another boat or a jetty or anything else. I called it advanced too. Then he said to me, as we're coming in here, he said to me, would you like to drive? And I said, no, that's advanced. And I said, that's even advanced level two. Because the one with the, uh, what was it, the, the fuel boat and the corner and the bridge and the other boat going one way and another the other way was advanced one. <laughs> so I'm only on beginners. No, you're about a... You're I'm intermediate now because I can level. actually go into lots and more but I'm not very good at it yet. There we go. Out through the bridge. Shall I take my hat and my glasses off? Well you can take your glasses off, you don't need to take your hat off. I'm not doing a Casey Neistat, am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> I could. No, just get some Tipex. All right, I'll, and I'll look at the camera instead of the okay, screen. Okay, and don't fall in the water while you're no. doing this because we are actually walking on a very crooked path. So, here we are. Here we are. Where this, are we? We are in Welton, Welton Height. That's it. This is too hard. We'll get back to you in a second when we sit down somewhere because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not much it's of a, a towpath to walk on and the water's just there. So, we'll talk to you in a minute. We are at the the new inn, which is 
on the GU, um, right next to the canal, which is like a stone's throw away. And it, a little interesting fact is that lots of loud motorbikes go past. An interesting fact is this is the home of the Buckby tin, Buckby can. Um, and those who know about narrowboats or have narrowboats will know what the Buckley can is. And those that don't know, it's the can that you keep your water in on narrowboats in the old days. Um, they had a few real ales here, but only one that we haven't sampled before, which is this one here, called Northamptonshire Ale by LWC. It's a 3.6% and that's all I know. So, um, yeah, it's got it's very ailey, bittery um, smell. It's quite light. No, it's, um, when, when do you like it? But, um, it doesn't, oh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's, it's like, you know those racehorses that you think they've got no, nothing in them and they're, and they're sort of dropping back to the pack and in that final stretch, they come up and finish and win the race. This is coming good. It's funny, when you first have a mouthful of it, it tastes like vase water. And then as it settles, you can taste the you can taste all the bits and pieces. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's it's a s eight. It's an eight. I'm enjoying it. It's good. Cheers. Now we're gonna see what Wendy reckons. <laughs> okay, so I've got the same thing. Same same one. It smells right. I'm waiting. <laughs> Don't agree. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Wainwright. Smells okay. Tastes okay. Okay, it's oh, um, I don't know what else to say. It's quaffable. It's a five. Got a hobgoblin. Um, it's by the which brewery is it again? Can't remember. It'll be there. Information will be right there. Um, but this, the roasted malts are going to this. A second to none, apparently. Um, I have tried it out of a keg on the boat, but I haven't tried it at a pub. So let's give it a go. It's fairly dark. Fairly. Oh wow! It's got lots of lots of things happening there. Yeah. It's, it's, you can, if, if you were to put five beers in front of me and five of them I didn't know and one I did and one was this I pick it straight away because it's got a very unique flavor very malty very very malty um, yeah it's got heaps it's got heaps happening in there um, it's it's an eight <sighs> <laughs> right when you kick it off right well we're we've just turned on to the Leicester arm Oh, well, the boat has turned onto the Leicester Arm. We're actually sitting on the towpath talking to you guys. We've just walked up to the beautiful pub called the New Inn, was it? The New Inn, yeah. New Inn, which is right on the lock, uh, the top of the Buckby Locks, the flight mm -hmm. of locks. And we've had a couple of ales and the day is now over. We're going back to the boat. We're going to have some dinner. And that's the end of day two of the summer days. Um, our little summer holiday on the canals in July so um, that's what I've got to say about that and what would you like to say? Whatever she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. 
No, I'd just like to say oh. um, it was a great day. <laughs> and we did, I'm just going to move my arm on the camera. There we go. Um, we only did seven locks. We did the Buxby. Buxby. Buck, Buckby, as in Buckby, Buckby can. Buckby. We did the Buckby flight, flight and. Um, we did lots of. We did the really big day in miles, though. Lots of no, no, no locks. Ten miles of no locks today. Uh, there was lots of no locks. Yeah, it would have been ten miles. Yeah, and then the flight. Here's a, here's a boat coming past. Look. <laughs> Take it, eh? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Your first day? Is that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Good on you. Enjoying it? Yeah, great. Wonderful. You, how many days are you going for? Weekend on weekend. Oh, you'll have a blast. Cheers. Oh, it's all gone dark. There that's we go. right, I'll edit that. So, that's our new friends. Um, <laughs> saw them at the lock. Yeah, we saw them down at the lock. And Which is quite a comedy, really. The yeah, it was a comedy. <laughs> they just had their introduction to narrow boating, and um, we thought that we'd introduce them to you. They're uh, young, lovely young couple. Um, and yeah, good day. Good day on the boat. Um, had some good beers. We are on some on the Leicester Arm, so it's all new from here. And passed a heap of boats. Uh, we locked up with some lovely people from. She's from Northampton. He's, Men. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, Vicky. they're, they're locals. Um, yeah, it was a great day. So till tomorrow. And yeah, we'll, we'll see, see you then. Tomorrow. Cheers. Ciao. Hello, Marcus. Oh. Hello. How are you? We don't Hi. subscribe, but we watch you every week. Good on you. You're on it. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be on tomorrow's.